Hi, this is Dr. Allen. Welcome to my channel. I had a question coming in from a doctor regarding about case acceptance. And their question is, we are spending a lot of money on advertisement. Each patient coming into our practice can cost us anywhere around $150 to about $200 in acquisition cost. But our conversion rate is very low. And do you have any suggestions? Well, doctor, thank you so much for the question. Yes, it's all about controlling the patient's journey or the sales cycle. Number one, you need to understand the difference between quality of experience and quality of treatment. You may be well known as the best implant dentist, best cosmetic dentist and so forth, but for patients, what they can gauge you on is the experience they have in your office. And that experience starts the moment they see your name, an advertisement of your name, uh, your website, your Facebook page, your LinkedIn profile, and so forth. Therefore, it is very important that you have control over the entire patient journey. Now, some of that is external, meaning that it's before they come to the office. The rest of it is when they arrive at your clinic. So it goes back to the same discussions I have had over the years on different videos that you need to train your team to become a master communicator as if they are on the stage trying to carry out a theater play of some kind to make sure that everything that is said and performed is exactly what we want our practice to be like. It has to be in a professional manner and it has to elicit special emotions for the patients to buy your services. So if for some reason you're spending the money and you know, I looked up your profile and you're a very, uh, you know, looks like a highly skilled dentist, but you are having issues with case acceptance, you need to go back and look at the cell cycle. And if you, if anyone watching this and, and if you need to get a copy of my cell cycle uh, download, uh, the image that I have everything on a cell cycle, uh, just, just go ahead and DM me and I will be happy to send it out to you. But, you know, this control over the patient journey is the most important aspect. What is said to a patient, how the patient uh, feels about everything, how professionally you're able to present and handle treatments and so forth is absolutely important in making sure that the patient has that quality of experience. Again, the patient cannot judge you on the quality of treatment. All they can judge you is on the quality of experience. They cannot judge you if you have prepared the tooth to the perfect angulation or perfect diameter <clears throat> on the shoulder of your preps and so forth. But what they can judge you with is how they felt when they arrived at the office, during the treatment, and also after the treatment. Is the treatment successful for them in terms of pain or the amount of time that they have to spend in your practice in relation to the amount of money that they have spent and so forth. So if you have a, pra if you have a patient that comes in and, and you're good at implant and you're able to place an implant within five minutes with little, little pain and so forth, the patient is going to walk away with a huge, um, you know, becomes a huge raving fan of your practice. We can say, oh, this dentist knows what he's doing. He's very competent. Everyone, you know, uh, knows, uh, you know, uh, what's happening in the practice in the entire journey. So this is, this is the biggest problems I see in practices is that the people on your team are not dancing together. They're not coordinated together, okay? So this is why we talk about often about handing patients off properly. How do you hand off the patient 
from a receptionist to the assistant, from the assistant to the doctor, from the doctor to the hygienist, from the doctor to the specialist, and back, you know? And this is very important. This is one of the reasons I like to control the entire cell cycle or the cell's process. Uh, you can call it the patient journey or the quality of experience within our team. So even if I have to refer someone out, okay, number one, I have to make sure that their uh, team is aligned with ours. I'll give you a story. I treated a very high profile lady, one of the richest lady in the world, in my practice for many years. And this particular lady, I had to refer her out for an endodontic procedure to an endodontist who was very well known because her endo was just, it, it was a premolar, it had two roots, and it was, it was just com complex. So I really wanted her to be well taken care of. Well, obviously, I, I am very stingy with my patients. I don't want to refer them out to people who I don't know, but I knew this guy has the skills. So I referred her to this endodontist in my local area. And after she returned home, I called her. That was, see, this is something many dentists do not. I called her to see how the appointment went. She said, you know, Alan, he's good. I can see, you know, he's got nice technology and, and he has, you know, uh, the, the, you know, right skills and he's confident. I was very comfortable, no pain. But one thing I didn't like, and I think he rushed to my appointment. And I said, what is that? He, she said, it's because when I was in the chair, I could hear his assistant talking to another assistant that she has to go and pick up her kid and she does not want to run late because of this last appointment. She said, when I heard that, I felt like they are rushing me through this. And this is a very powerful lady that I'm talking about. And, and you know, she, she just didn't feel comfortable, you know, with that, you know, being in that vulnerable position. So again, this comes from the lack of training because of the fact that the staff doesn't know when to talk and when to shut up, okay? So this is why training and mastering skills in communication is absolutely important for your team. And there is no better time than now when things are slowed down, okay, that you sharpen the saw and try to take care of this uh, training for your team and so forth. Again, my name is Dr. Allen. I run a healthcare consulting advisory group. We train and we strategize for doctors, especially dentists, to grow their practices to the next level. We have various training modules. We have hands-on uh, online seminars. We also have video training on, uh, on uh, case presentation skills and the sales mastery and communication skills and so forth. If I can be of any assistance to you, please make sure you DM me. If you find value in this video, please hit the like button and share. Thank you so much.